Other countries are stepping up their game in the competition for tourists and, to keep up, Singapore will need to play to its strengths and be more imaginative, all while keeping the human touch. Said Prime Minister Lawrence Wong Speaking at the Singapore Tourism Board's STBE Annual Singapore Tourism Awards on June 28 at the Raffles City Convention Centre, PM Wong noted that the country has come a long way in developing tourism. But travellers today have many options and Singapore cannot be complacent. We know that we have many options in different places, and it's really not that simple or easy for Singapore to compete. He said. In our immediate region alone, there are so many interesting things. If you want to go for nice beaches, there are so many options to explore. Indonesia, Thailand, the Philippines, nothing that we can match. If you are interested in history, there are also many well-known heritage places to visit around the region. So, what is Singapore to do? How do we compete? One strategy is to build on Singapore's strengths, including its history, its position as a business hub and its connectivity, PM Wong said. We can't be all things to all people. We should focus on our Singapore story, how people from diverse backgrounds have come together as one, and how we have worked together to transform this place from mudflats to metropolis, he said. He gave the example of how the Urban Redevelopment Authority's Singapore City Gallery was not set up for tourism, but has nevertheless become a popular tourist draw. Singapore is also one of the world's most popular destinations for business meetings and mice meetings, incentives, conferences and exhibitions events. He added, We can build on this and do more to encourage business travellers to come, and then to stay on and do some sightseeing after their work is done, visit our attractions, or enjoy dining experiences across our wide range of FB food and beverage options. From michelin star restaurants to hawker centres, he said. And Singapore's connectivity means that visitors can use Singapore as a launch pad for short visits to other countries in the region. He said. Among the other ways Singapore can bolster its appeal is to develop more imaginative projects, said PM Wong, citing several already in the pipeline. These include a new 15. 000-seat entertainment arena that is part of Marina Bay Sands expansion plans, as well as new attractions at Mandai Wildlife Reserve, such as a new eco-resort and rainforest wild. We are looking at major sports events to attract and bring in some of them. We are certainly bringing more concerts and festivals. But the key is to be able to synergize and pull it all together. Said PM Wong, giving the example of the Formula 1 Singapore Airlines Singapore Grand Prix. It was not just a car race, but an entire weekend with many supporting activities around it. Such as international conferences and concerts and so on, he said. We should adopt this same approach in staging other new events so that they are not just done in isolation but are curated as part of a vibrant year-round calendar of unforgettable experiences, he said, adding that STB will have to work closely with other government agencies as well as industry partners to maximise our overall efforts. Noting that tourism at its core is a people business, PM Wong said that the Ministry of Trade and Industry and STB have plans to better equip tour guides and nurture tourism sector leaders. We have to continue to invest in our people to maintain our competitive advantage, he said. The Singapore Tourism Awards recognize individuals and organizations that deliver outstanding experiences and show enterprise excellence. Among the 27 winners was tourism sector pioneer Pamela Lee, an STB veteran who was instrumental in preserving Singapore's cultural precincts like Chinatown, Little India and Kompong Jilam as well as the conservation of heritage buildings like Chichmis and Raffles Hotel. 
Her leadership and vision played a key role in shaping Singapore's tourism sector, said PM1 of Mrs. Lee. 82 who was awarded the Lifetime Achievement for Outstanding Contribution to Tourism at the award ceremony for contributions over her illustrious 26-year career. Mrs. Lee, speaking to ST on the sidelines of the award ceremony, said, I could see that we were losing our heritage and uniqueness, and I kept asking, what are we going to do about all these places? I'm proud that we kept the original character of each of these areas. We did not try to clone them or make them all the same and that is very important. Several top awards were given out at the event. Clinching the Outstanding Tourism Entrepreneur Award was Mr. Ron Tan, Executive Chairman and Group Chief Executive of Neon Group. Mr. Tan worked with big-name international studios such as Disney, Marvel and Warner Brothers to bring in immersive experiences. Including Avatar, the experience at Gardens by the Bay, as well as the upcoming impressions of Monet, also at Gardens by the Bay, and Harry Potter, visions of magic at Results World Sentosa. STEM science, technology, engineering and mathematics advocate Lynette Tan, Chief Executive and Chairwoman of Space Faculty Asia, was awarded Best Business Event Champion for winning the bid to hold a global robotics competition. The World Robot Olympiad International Finals in Singapore in 2025. For special recognition awards were also given out. Among them, Changi Airport Group was lauded for playing a pivotal role in facilitating the strong rebound in tourist arrivals post-COVID-19. While a champion of Singaporean cuisine, Chef Damien Silva was recognized for his involvement in various productions and projects that showcased the country's rich culinary heritage. This year's awards had 83 finalists in three broad categories, Customer Service Excellence, Experience Excellence and Enterprise Excellence, out of which 20 individuals and organizations were awarded. Noteworthy recipients include Trade Show and Exhibition Organizer Constella Exhibitions, which received the Outstanding Event Organizer Award for the third year in a row for its contributions to the mice industry in bringing in quality events. Show Nature Connections took home the Outstanding Wellness Experience Award for the second year running, but this time for its forest bathing experience in Bird Paradise, where participants connect with nature and practice relaxation amid birds and trees. The Sandana Nature Experience Center in Siglet was named Outstanding Tour Experience for its Rooftop Farm Experience Tour, which features organic gardening, close encounters with honeybees, as well as curated honey tastings and cocktails. Finalists for the awards were selected by STB from nominations submitted by businesses and stakeholders based on their achievements in 2023. Recipients were then selected through rigorous assessments. Including evaluations by a panel of judges, mystery audits and behavioural interviews. STB is also celebrating its 60th anniversary in 2024. Its chief executive Melissa Au echoed PM Wong's call to work together to strengthen Singapore's appeal and give visitors compelling reasons to visit the Republic. With growing sophistication and miles travelers, delivering on quality experiences will become a competitive edge for our businesses and put Singapore ahead as a destination. She said. To achieve this, every effort counts regardless of whether you interact directly with customers or work behind the scenes or manage our own businesses that serve visitors.